What about self-confidence? And how do you know that it affects your business or that it affects you as a person? That's what this video is about. My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women who have a business on their own, self-employed, to become a business leader, business owner, building a business and create the impact that you deserve and you desire. Now let's dive into self-confidence because it's a huge topic for business women. So how can um, business women improve building self-confidence? Well, really it is by doing the things that you love doing, um, focusing on the uh, results that are good. And sometimes that's not the amount of clients. And I, all the women in my group, not, not all, but most women who enter my group, they say they, they want more clients or more leads or more conversions or more paid clients, you know. Um, that's, that's usually a, a big, big issue for many uh, business women. How can you improve? Establish which things scare you, so at least that you're aware of what scares you and then start to do them anyway. Yeah, you might be trembling, you might be shaking, you might be fear, yeah, you might your heart might jump, you might be fearful. Do it anyway. Because that's the only way for you to see that nothing major or nothing dramatic is going to happen. That you are perfectly fine and that you are okay to do the things that you think you can't. And that when things might go slide off track, because it's never completely wrong, but that's how we label it. No, it's just going slightly off track. That you are able to correct it, course correct, and take precautions or the necessary steps to, to put it back into uh, place or back into where you were heading to. It's self-confidence is... Um, it's, it's, should I say, such an overrated concept. Um, well, we, we pay too much attention to it. We give it too much thought and therefore it becomes such a big thing and therefore it stops us. But when we start doing things anyhow, we see that it's not the self-confidence, it's just often a lack of knowledge or lack, lack of not knowing how to do it. And that creates anxiety and tension. But that is not lack of self-confidence. That's totally different, it's something else. Lack of knowledge, that is something you will get with people like me or other people. Um, and the more knowledge you have, the more confidence you, ha you, you, you build as well. So why is self-confidence important for a successful business? Well, if you always listen to your not self-confident self, you're not going to be out there. You're not going to build. You're not going to speak to people. You're not going to do the things that you need to do to build a business. So it is important to have self-confidence. And when you don't, just don't listen to the self not having self-confidence. Ignore it. Do it anyway. That's what many men did do. And that's what I did. Had I listened to my lack of self-confidence, which I've had tremendously all my life, still have. But I know it's a fake concept. I know it's not true. It's a thought in my mind. It's a thought in my head. So I ignore it. Yeah, it does cost uh, uh, more energy. I agree. Um... But it works. It helps building a business. And you know, when, when you're afraid of talking to people, once you are talking to people, do you still feel that fear? Or are you caught up in the conversation? Are you there with the person? I suppose the last thing is the case and then there is there is no self-confidence issue because you cannot entertain the thought of being uh, not self uh, of, of having lack of uh, confidence when you're talking to someone else because 
that's where your attention is at the moment. So self-confidence is only an issue when you are in your own mind with your own thoughts and not when you're playing at the court, not when you're acting, not when you're doing. This is very important. How does self-confidence relate to good business decisions? When you entertain your lack of self-confidence, you often, often hesitate. Um, and hesitating can be good because, you know, you can contemplate, but it also often means that you lose momentum or that the opportunities are, are gone or passing by. Um, helping, uh, making, making strong business decisions helps you to move further. Um, believe in the decision, believe in yourself, believe in what you do. That's going to help um, move your business further. So when you listen to your lack of self-confidence, you're not going to make powerful decisions. You're going to make the decisions entertained by lack of self-confidence, which always means playing small. Yeah, listen to lack of self-confidence. The decisions you make are usually not big. Are usually, usually small steps that are, which are not significant, which are not going to teach you anything. The big leaps, they are going to give you feedback because then you'll see, hey, things are going to work out this way. Things are going to work out that way. You know, that's, that's really, really important. So it does it definitely helps making uh, decisions and about making decisions i have a strategy yeah? and i've i've already expressed this many times i've created videos about it um, if you don't know what to do look at what's the worst thing that can happen look at what's the best thing that can happen and then give yourself three seconds one two three decide and then you intuitively, intuitively come up with a decision. You don't know if that's the right decision, but I bet it is because you looked at the pros and the cons. You looked at the worst and the, and the, and the best scenario and your intuition already knows. It's just your mind trying to stop you because you're scared or because you want to control or because you don't know what's going to happen. No, you don't know what's going to happen. I mean, you predicted the, the worst and, and the best outcome, but you still are not sure about it. That's never the case with making decisions. But that's basically also the beauty about making decisions, isn't it? The challenge, the not knowing. But having faith and having trust in that process, having faith in that you made the right decision, that already determines part of the outcome, definitely. Because that's how you then are going to act. And the beauty about making a decision, once you have made a decision, something happens in your brain. As long as you're undecisive, you're not going to take aligned action. But once you have made a decision, you are going to take aligned action because then you have focus, then you're determined, then you know, and then the things that are going to help you along the way will appear. You will start to see them. And when you were indecisive, you did not. That's really what the law of attraction is all about. Your energy changes once you've made a decision. And then you start to attract different things. And when you start to act, you will start to get feedback. And when you have feedback, you can move further or course correct. That's the whole process. But it starts with not entertaining your lack of self-confidence. Like I said, it's such an overrated concept. It's just not knowing what's going to happen. That's all it is. And not knowing if you're able to handle it. That's all it is. But it, is it true? Is it really true? I doubt it is. But it stops you, makes you play safe.
So why is self-confidence important in leadership? I think you now know. Um, you know, when you're a leader, a business leader, when you have a team, um, when you have clients, people like to trust someone. They like to know that, hey, when this person makes decisions, it's okay, I can follow them, I can be with them. It's inspiring for people when they see somebody showing and expressing self-confidence, even if the person might also be self-insecure, but doesn't show it, doesn't entertain the thoughts, just sees it as a concept, which is not true, even though it's there. It helps you create good business decisions. It helps you to build your business. It helps you to find the right people who work with you. It helps you to find better clients, better paying clients, re having recurring clients. So it's very important to show self-confidence when you're a leader or when you're on, on the process of becoming a leader. And you know, we, we Many, many times women are modest. Um, we don't want to be out there. We don't want to be exposed. But we have to nowadays because of social media. But, but being a leader, exactly, that's the, we all have it in us. But many of us don't want to be a leader. But we have to be a leader to make the impact that we want. So you know it's 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 not <laughs> it's it's a weird situation. We want to be modest. Yeah, that's the thing about sitting outside. I live close to an airport, <laughs> so sometimes we have some planes whoop, passing by. Um, we want to be modest. We don't want to have all the attention upon us, but we have a message which has to be out there. We want to help and serve people. We want to create impact. Well, that's only possible if you become a leader. There's no other way. Wow. So, um, th this had so many nuggets. If you feel that you want to have a conversation with me, just, just you know, about whatever that's, that's bothering you, um, I'll add uh, a link to the message. It's uh, my 15 minute uh, calendar link. You can just schedule a call. Um, we just have a short conversation. I love having these conversations because it helps me also to, um, to create this content. You know, there's, there's so many conversations in my mind with women that I had. And that's how I know what I know. And that's why I want to share with you what I know. Okay? Bye-bye. See you next week.